Hey there Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how your person feels, um, how they see you, where they see re your relationship going, um, and we're going to take a look at an outcome, what's coming in next for your relationship or what you can expect. And as I'm starting, of course, cards are flying out, Scorpio. So, for your person, we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Okay? And for you, we have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay? So, I feel like in this situation... Scorpio, I'm going to be clear with you. Your, your readings are always the most intense for some reason. I feel like your readings are so intense. But I feel like, you know, your person may be blame, blaming themselves or they may be blaming you. And that may be causing some kind of self-esteem issues within you at the moment. Um, I feel like there may be a a great need to let things go and just kind of move forward okay so let's take a look at your person what feelings they have at the moment how are they are how they are feeling now be mindful that you know these roles can be reversed so you know um this could be their side this could be your side this could be their side. This could be your side. So, you know, take it how it resonates. And if you feel like the roles have re reversed, um, take a look at their sign and see what messages come out. And this is a timeless reading. So when you see it is when you're supposed to receive it. Okay, I'm sorry for that phone. Okay, for them, they're currently feeling like an higher fence. Okay, they see you as the fool. And, oh my goodness, they see your relationship as a magician. Beautiful. You see the situation as the Five of Swords. We also have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. So I feel like they want to offer you some kind of an apology, some kind of um, offer that you are finding valuable in this situation. They, they want to offer you some kind of um, apology, some kind of offering here. Um, they may, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this, but they may feel like they need to buy you something in order to apologize. Okay, so that's very interesting. But I also feel like right now your energy may be the Queen of Swords energy. You may be having your back towards the past and looking towards the future. You may have the need to fully understand the situation, even though there's a lot of struggle and conflict. Um, I feel like there's some things that you are struggling with. Some things that you are struggling with that you need to release, that you need to let go of. And it may be situations from the past. Maybe you've been with this person for a while and, you know, there's some things from the past that keep kind of rushing forward. Or maybe this is a new relationship and the things from the past are making you insecure in this new relationship. Okay, but there are some things that you need to let go of. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, your person feels like they are the Hierophant right now. So I feel like they feel like they are kind of um, in this teaching moment. Maybe they're trying to teach you how to do certain things, how to make food that they like, how to, you know, do certain things that they like. I feel like they're in kind of like this teacher mode where they're kind of teaching you how they want to be treated. Okay, and I feel like they see you as this new opportunity, this new venture, this new discovery. They see you as, you know, taking a risk on a new situation because they see you as totally brand new, you know, as, you know, and so I'm really feeling like this is new love because there's a lot of, um, Feelings of learning new things about each other. 
And there's a lot of newness here. Even with the magician, I feel like they feel like this is something that they can create into something very special. They want to create this, this love interest into what they are kind of seeing in their mind's eye. So they're in this creation period in, you know, building something up, bringing something to life. Okay, and I feel like you're kind of needing to let go of them past energy so that you can move forward. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Tell me more about these cards for Scorpio. Why do we have the Hierophant here for their person's feelings at this moment? Why do we have the Hierophant? Okay. We have the, yeah, okay, we have the Hierophant because there's a lot of curiosity here. There's a lot of learning going on. There's a lot of new things, new thoughts, new ideas, new, you know, new things that you're both finding out about each other. So there's a lot of curiosity, a lot of new um ideas going on here they're trying to teach you the way they want to be treated okay the way they the way they see things going um learn it maybe learning how to make their favorite dish or learning that you know this is their um these are their habits you know these are this is the schedule that they go by they, they're you know they're very curious and teaching you how things are in their life and what they may expect okay okay so why do we have the fool here why does this person see you scorpio as the fool why do they see you as the fool okay the star they see you as someone very special scorpio they see you as a very new opportunity, a very new journey. Um, they're discovering new things about you. They feel like, you know, you're this. This is what I'm getting, Scorpio. They feel like you may be broken, but you can be healed. So they feel like, you know, you're not a lost cause or anything like that. Please don't take offense, Scorpio. I'm just letting you know what spirit is telling me. But I feel like they feel like you are capable of being healed, of, you know, becoming a spotlight, you know, shining like a diamond, like a star. Okay, so that's how they're viewing you. Okay, so why is the magician here? Why is the magician here, spirit? Okay, we have the three of pentacles. So, they see you as a partnership. They see you as someone that they can, you know, partner up with, collaborate, um, spend a lot of time with, learn a lot of new things with, you know, that they see you as someone they can build a very uh, prosperous life with. Okay, so and I feel like they they have their eyes set on building something meaningful and something long lasting with you. Okay, so that it's very good news. Scorpio. Let's get an outcome for Scorpio. How is this relationship evolving? Where is this relationship going? What can Scorpio expect? Okay, we have the Hermit card, the Sun, beautiful, and the Seven of Pentacles, beautiful. Okay, Scorpio. At the bottom, we have the Seven of Swords. So I feel like, you know, they, 
this relationship is not going to be without its struggles but, but i feel like you know you are able to move forward this person may have a little sneakiness to them or they may have someone around them they may be a little sneaky so i would be aware of that but other than that i see that this relationship is flourishing and following a straight path i feel like you're gaining a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledges there's a lot of lessons that you're being uh, taught during this time. There's a lot of lessons that you're learning. But I feel like you're gaining your happiness. You're feeling very content and, you know, able to pursue the growth in this relationship that maybe you have been looking for for a very long time. I see your relationship being very happy and growing into something that is may not be what exactly you are expecting but i feel like it's what exactly you are needing okay so that is very beautiful energy for you scorpio so let's see let's take a angel number angels what information does scorpio need to know right now for this relationship okay we have 15 15 creativity so i feel like spirit is letting you know that this can be created in whatever you want it to be you just have to put in the work that's what i'm getting um so 15 15 creativity the angel whispers keep assessing the creative connection that you feel to the divine the whispers speak through your creative connection, allowing you to express the beauty that is within you and connect to the love that is around you. Okay? Your affirmation. Creativity is my birthright. As I express my creativity, I feel a beautiful flow of love and connection okay beautiful well i hope this helps scorpio i hope this gives you the awareness that you need now if this resonates with you please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads take a look at your sun moon rising and venus for love i have that in your march playlist okay so Scorpio, until your next reading, many blessings to you, love and light.